Welcome back to Kids and Myths Gaming. I'm Rachel. I'm Nikayla. I don't know what the fuck that voice is, but I don't know. We're here back with the with the goddamn Corey. With the goddamn Corey. With the goddamn Corey. The Corey. The last time we were here, we were relatively stressed. Um, Max died. I did attempt to save Max. I'm still in my wedding bubble in case anybody is wondering. Do not pop my goddamn bubble. I'm looking for something. Mm. Um I forgot that Caitlin and yeah, Max had made the discovery of the Chris's trail footage. Surveillance room. Mm. He's storing all the footage. I think you might be right. Great. Um, we're not sure how much of the Corey is actually left. We're unsure too. But we have the Corey here with us. Yeah. We can't imagine that there's much more, but yeah, we could be wrong. We did all the things up here, didn't we? We did kill the Hackett. The Chris Hackett. Yeah, we did kill the Chris of the Hackett. Mercilessly. Mercilessly? Mercilessly. Hmm. That word mm. is very hard right now. Merciless? That's cool. I Maybe it's because we got I'm... everything up here. Born. Okay. I am not sure what we need to be doing, but I know we need to be doing something. What is that? Um, looks like a watch. Looks like a ring. Alright. Well, that's that, I guess. Let's go, I guess. I need more quack in my life. Same. I need your husband to make me a word walk. <laughs> more accurately. Yeah. Just for preface, if you watch God of War, which you don't have to, but you should. <laughs> but you should. But you should. Ah, God damn it. Mm, break a chip. Yeah. <laughs> you broke a chip. God damn it. So, last episode of God of War, we got guac. And we've just been snickety snackety on it. Mm. Mainly, Michaela's been snacking on it and I've been killing shit. But God now it's War. the exact opposite. Now it's the opposite. I'm taking the scrappies of the guac um, and eating it. Should we prepare now? Oh, yeah, yeah. Why not? I don't know what else to do. I have a feeling the Hacker family is going to just fucking die. Probably. What doesn't kill you makes it stronger. We're here to lead the way. No fights for life, we're proud to say. Shout it stroud and shout out loud. We're Hacketeers. Did yeah, they just sing their little words. cute cat song? That's a terrible. That's a horrid. Oh no, as a as a person who did a lot of camps as a kid, well, as a four H'er, I did a lot of four H camps from here until I was camp counselor age, aka I was um mm. age to I was high school. Oh, Somebody's shit. gonna come down that fucking chimney. I'm not sure who yet. Time, motherfuckers. I'm not ready for this. I'm Me. glad you are, Caitlin. Me either. I'm also not ready, but she's got a good aim. What is going on out there? Mm. Should we go find the others? No, we're safe no. right here. <laughs> it's nearly morning. Hundred and ten percent. Oh no, this is the end all, isn't it? I think we're at the end. Of the Remember how at the start of this episode before ah! I can start? No, I'm not ready for this. I joke that we are at the end of this game. I think we are. Oh no, I'm not ready for this. I'm not sure if this is Nick or um, Caleb. Caleb, right? That's uh, Chris Hackett's little the son. Mm -hmm. I um run um 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 run. I have no fucking. Let's go. Let's go. I have no bad idea. Bad idea. I'm not sure what to do. I feel like my my instincts would be to run and hide in any capacity. Uh, yeah. Because what doesn't ah! fucking kill you? Mate? Oh goddamn! Monsters! Hold still, guys. Holy shit! Well, we gotta let her in. Well, we can't. The office door's locked from the outside. Well, there must be something we can well, do. Yeah, but what? Figure it fucking out! I don't know. Use I can't gun. lose Caitlyn! Oh, we can't lose Caitlyn. She's a badass! D do we Shoot. accidentally kill everybody in this room? 
silver shells. Yes. Do I have silver shells? I Is forgot she has some. We can give them to her. She passes. If she passes. What? So there. What? So do you remember where this the... is at? Oh. Oh. So shit. Um, um. Um. Beam or window? Beam. Okay. <laughs> breathe, Michaela. Breathe. <laughs> because we want to get the um, silver bullets, and if we get the silver bullets from those two, which means you need to fucking walk past the closet door <gasps> in Chris Hackett's office, did he fucking Ooh! fall? He fucking fell, motherfucker. Ooh! So you need to get past the doorway. Do you remember that doorway with the closet? Kind of. Guide me. Run. Hide. 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 Ah! Run. Okay. Hold breath. Oh, I hate this. I hate this especially right now because... I don't want to lose Caitlyn. Well, really we don't want to lose Caitlyn, nor do we want to lose Dylan. Um, but I also think it's garbage on how it only let... Well, well, I suppose when we get to the end, we'll, we'll, we'll air our grievances. Um... We always air our grievances at the end of games, but, oh, uh... No. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. no. Oh, no. Oh, fucking no. Oh, uh, no. No! No! Caitlyn! <gasps> oh! No! Are we just slowly killing everybody? Are we doing an accidental fucking kill everybody run we must be we may have to do a, a a run where we save everybody are you fucking kidding me that was bullshit <sighs> so do I start on my grievances at what point in this game because this is very obviously <sighs> not much left in this game here. So at what point am I allowed to start my grievances? <laughs> Inquisitive. Accusor Inquisitive. So what yeah. exactly happened six years ago? There was a fire that wiped out dozens of people and now there's werewolves and a ghost that roams the woods looking for her lost baby boy. Yeah, apparently. Mm. Which I've just put together is Silas. Oh shit. It's a long story. Oh god, no, Ryan, you're fucking stupid, aren't you? There was a fire. Okay, so the goal is now to get Ryan and Laura out of here. Failed to stop him. Burn. Because Caitlin's dead, Max is dead, and Jacob it is dead. It matters fucking right guys, now, dude. Actually, we need to know what we're up against at least. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf for the last 6 years has avoided being found. No matter what we did. Every full moon we were out there looking. Every single one. Now the son of a bitch is finally here. So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. I agree. We mm. should definitely try to work with Travis as so much as possible. How do you know where he is? How the hell are we going to find him just driving down the middle of the road? There he is. Yeah! How do we find him? I don't know. Probably because Laura and Max. Oh, 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 oh. Don't hit your head. Good girl. Good news is you have your eyeball back, so you can become a vet now. Mm. Um, um grab Ooh, take is wheel? He out. Take wheel. Take wheel. If he's out, take wheel. Travis! Travis, get it together, come on! Oh shit. <gasps> I got it, just get down. Uh, he got knocked out there for a minute. Okay. Let's get Travis up and awake. I will, I will, I will. 
Oh, there he is. Grab nice, that nice. fucking gun and shoot this shoot motherfucker. That motherfucker. Let's go. Shoot him. Shoot the wolf. Shoot. No, no, no. Not go. I mean, that would. Would that work? I mean, that would harm. Ryan, I don't necessarily give a fuck. Yeah, just disappeared. He's underneath the car. You gotta be nearby. Oh, so your first thought is to get outside. Yeah, hundred and ten percent. Dead. He's dead. Who, Ryan or the wolf? Because the wolf's probably not. Oh, dead. I'm gonna fuck this all up, aren't I? Well, I mean, we've killed almost everybody at this oh. rate. Are we there yet? No, Ryan. Okay. He should not but stay in that yeah. card. If he can come with, he should come with. Because I have a feeling him staying in the goddamn car is a really goddamn awful idea. Let's go. Mm. That's a cool here. shot, though. Mm. Got some blood. That's great. That was a cool shot, though. I killed Caitlyn! Yeah. Um, Leads through there. I killed Caitlyn. To be fair, I think together we killed Caitlyn. Mm. Okay. What the hell happened back here? I do think, though, that Whoa. we should... Finish this run and then go through mm. chapters and attempt to save people. Mm -hmm. AKA, this is where we whatever we get out of this run is whom we get out of this run. And then if we don't get everybody out of this goddamn run, You're trying to well, we, um, we right will now. go through chapters. Uh, we may take yeah. a break from this stupid game, mm. but we will go through chapters and save people. What? Um, I feel like we owe it to Max at mm. this point. Just to Max. Simply to Max. And the only reason why I say Max is because Max's choice is the most bullshit of them all. Shit. Normally. Also, Caitlyn's is not any better. I'm all out, so we're high risk. Because how did Caitlyn die, but Dylan we got out of kill. that? Just, just to point out. You ready to end this? Let's... Determined, bitter. Let's fucking do this. Damn straight, Laura. <laughs> Ryan, nobody gives Fuck a shit off, about Ryan. you. Look, I'm gonna be fully honest with you, Ryan. Look at me, eye contact, real fucking fast. <laughs> eye contact. No one fucking likes you. You're too wishy washy. Commit. So, you're so wishy washy. It kills me. Even me in my wedding bubble thinks you're too <laughs> fucking wishy washy. Oh, God, if you haven't watched God of War, uh, keep up, motherfuckers. I uh, got married. Uh -oh. Rachel's a married lady. Um. Damn, this place also, with that, that means I am in my bubble. Do not pop yeah. my bubble. I will not allow bubble <laughs> pop. I'm saying in my goddamn cellophane, sparkly wrapped snow globe level her, bubble until November 23rd. Nice. Got married October 23rd. Oh, staying in bubble until November 23rd. Thank you all for watching. Oh my gosh, um, so I'm happy in my little teeny tiny bubble. That's impossible who you're talking about. I saw it too. In the run tunnels. And the she's run tunnels. a thing. Salas' mother. I yeah, she fucking cursed you. She did curse you out. She's the terror leader. Probably. You think probing? Probing. Who was she? Who was she? Was she? Yeah, don't be an asshole. It's not gonna help here. She ran a traveling sideshow called Harem Scarrow. Came here six years back. She kept her son in a cage. Oh, that's fucked up. Called him Silas the, the Wolf, wolf Boy. boy. Died in the fire. Some say she never left. Oh, so that's uh, the tarot lady. The hag of Hackett's quarry. Yeah, that's her. We've been looking for Silas ever since. How did the fire start? Because some motherfuck lit it? Yeah, I thought so. Really? You're still hiding stuff now? Was it you? I blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee Hackett. Oh, Jesus Christ, the really? Kindest, gentlest souls to ever walk this earth. She no was a goddamn werewolf. disagrees with you. All she wanted to do was help that little boy. Locked in a cage by that... Oh. Uh, what did she I, do? She let her go. She let him out. Just wanted to help him. Answer the question. So even though we killed Kaylee, rightfully so. She convinced Caleb to start a fire. Just a distraction. Mm. It's May Bales. Oh Didn't no! Time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. That's not what happened. 
No. It was within minutes, everybody was dead. You ever see Hayburn? Love Fast. Him. Whole crew. Caleb managed to get Silas to freedom. But Caleb got bit in the process. Hmm. Shocker. Kind of stuff surprising. Reflective, mean, reflective. We'll That's reflective. why you've been hunting That's him. You've been hunting him. Silas, I mean. Every full moon for six fucking years. Some hunter you are. <laughs> well, don't necessarily get salty with him, Laura. He's trying his absolute fucking best. I do think we've gotten the best outcome with that's Travis, though. Mm. Is it all that's left? We fucking killed Caitlin. <laughs> we killed Max. Oh. Because we chose to swim. Negative. Still can't believe that. Damn, I never saw any of this. I didn't even know this was here. Great. Don't be scavenging. Well, they're trying to find Silas. Still, you're by yourself. Well, you're a fresh human. Look, it doesn't have to make sense. It just exists. <gasps> Brian? Duh. Oh, uh, okay. that was. That was the Hig Hig Squirry. I'm sorry. That was. Close. We must yeah. be close. Did you both see, see it too? I kind of wish I hadn't. <laughs> same. Same, Travis. Mm. Fucking same. Look, I knew the cop. Were regardless of him being creepy as shit or not, was going to be a helpful thing to be on his good side. He still was kind of a creepy motherfucker, though. Don't disagree. Still better to be on his good side than not. Because Cop has a good story. Cop is actually telling us the truth. <laughs> Silas, the dog boy. Mm. That must be it. Careful. Careful. You yeah. too. You too, Travis. I do think Travis is ready to go down with his family. Like, I don't think Travis intends on making out of this alive. There he is. I hear him. Oh, Silas. Poor Silas. Fucking Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Yeah, that's what he is. Oh, he's pale as a fucking ghost. Look at him. What's wrong? What are you waiting for? Shoot the stupid girl! Something's wrong here. I guess Ray's gun? I don't know what to do. Are you sure about this? Shoot. I don't know what to do. Oh no. I'm sorry. Was that the right choice? Probably not. I don't know what to do here. Please, I... let's just... Let's just go before we... We have to see him like that in human form. It's too late for that. I'm sorry. I they transform just... almost immediately, I think, back. I definitely just killed Silas. I'm so sorry. I don't know if that's what we're supposed to do. I don't do. think it was. Look, I'm so sorry. I don't know what's happening. The white wolf. I mean, we got a trophy. Oh no, Caitlin! I'm so sorry, witch. Oh no, she's yeah, gonna like... be so upset. I'm sorry! I'm sorry! You think you have it all figured out. I bet you think you're fucking clever. I, I do not. don't. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I tried to warn you. I even started to like you. Then stop telling me in riddles. Me. Not after this. I will not forget what you made them do to my Silas. <sighs> I've been with you all night. I know. And I'm not about to stop now just because the night's come to an end. No. <sighs> Whenever you hear a noise in the dark, whisper from the shadows, uh -huh. the breath on the back of your neck, that's going to be me. Uh-huh. I'll be there. Okay. I'm now sorry. I will never leave you. I don't. I'm sorry. What you want me to do? 
Okay. That's great. I need the companionship, but I'm sorry. Did you just say I need the companionship? <laughs> what the fuck am I here for? <laughs> what the? Just. I'm so sorry. Hang on. What was I supposed to do? It was the Alpha Wolf. To kill Silas. I'm sorry. What do you want me to do? I don't know what we're supposed to do. I'm sorry. To kill Silas or not. I'm sorry. All right. Uninjured, Bobby was able to fend off an attack from Chris, his brother, in werewolf form. Thanks oh, to Bobby fending off werewolf Chris, Jed survived the attack at Hackett House. Mm -hmm. Chris was killed when his favorite counselor shot Ryan, or Ryan shot him with, with silver. silver. Ooh. Deceased or Laura shot Constance's his face off in a struggle for the gun. He's dead. Uh, Jacob was killed <laughs> by werewolf Nick. Ryan eventually abandoned him in the Hackett's basement. Chris Hackett's daughter Kaylee was shot and killed by Laura, who mistook her for werewolf Chris. Oh, Nick survived the night when Laura killed Silas. Nick's werewolf's curse was lifted. So that's the only way to kill, uh, I'll leave Nick. Mm. Max went back to the mainland where hungry Caleb was waiting for him. Fuck you, game. Um, Abigail made it to safety. Of course, have a surveillance room. Uh, Emma survived the night in the safety of Chris Hackett's surveillance room. Uh, mm. Caitlin was killed when Caleb hunted her down in the dorm tree. So we should have ran. Yeah. Okay. Dylan hid in the in the classroom, surviving the night and avoiding infection. Caleb Hackett returned to his human form permanently when Silas was killed. Travis survived the encounter with Silas and finally saw an end to the curse that had haunted his family for six years. Ryan was cured of the werewolf infection when he shot Chris and managed to survive the showdown with the white wolf. Laura killed Silas with a silver shell, curing every infected person who survived the night. Laura killed Silas, the dog boy in his nest. The curse of the Hackett's quarry is broken. Fuck. So, okay. We got a lot of time left in this episode. Mm -hmm. There's the police. Do we have enough evidence to... I, we're about to fucking find out, I suppose. Summer camp tragedy. Greek bear attack. Leave several, several dead. dead. What do you make of that, Anthony? I love that term, several. Like, the detectives are just, they, they don't even count the bodies. They're not like one, two, they're like one, two, three. Yeah, you know what? It's several. Several murders. You know, it might be a oh, tactic, no. though. They can't give out that information yet. Sometimes mm. detectives are notoriously difficult to solicit information from. Especially when you go in saying, hi, I'm a paranormal expert. I thought we'd done the whole Hackett's Quarry thing. Not well, this Hackett's Quarry thing. Oh, what was this, fuck. like three months ago? Old news, dude. <laughs> Anton, introductions first. We are Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast. I like that. Bizarre Yet Bonafide. I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together, we explore the possibility of supernatural... Okay, so... Every day occurrence. I don't know if exactly this is the good ending every day occurrence. or not. This is a good ending. I feel like this is a pretty decent ending. Okay. We killed Caitlyn! Yeah. And Max! Like the two cool people! Yeah. So, here's the thing. So, here's what I've got. Um, essentially, you have to kill Silas. Because otherwise, Nick and Caleb don't have a happy ending. Because Nick gets bit by Caleb. Right. So, Nick will never go back. Just like, um... Max got bit by Chris, so right. if you don't take out 
Chris. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, Chris. God, why? Why are you smiling? Stop it. I hate it. Right. You well, know, they don't really. Did we just miss out on information? Because they really don't give any information about the witch. I have no idea if this is a good ending or a bad ending. I have no clue. I'm trying to find that out. Um, no, no, no. I got. Of a show and tell vibe to it. Okay. Laura kills Silas, both Travis and Ryan survive, the curse is lifted. Laura hesitates to kill Travis and Silas, the curse is lifted. Laura kills Silas and dies in- oh no. So Laura can die in the end. Okay. Um, by not shooting at Silas? Flagged this as a bizarre situation. That's what I'm about to find out. Hang on. They sent us a package. Did you? You didn't open it. Anyone yeah. who I don't trust anyone who listens to this show. Oh, I couldn't wait to open it. Surprise! Anonymous donation. Okay. Oh, if you fail the QTE in the car crash, podcast, Silas will kill uh, Travis, and um, he will lose control of the car, which will kill Ryan, and then Laura will get out of the car and kill Silas. Huh. Okay. Well. We've been sent information, and we need to decide whether it's... Son of a bitch. Okay, I don't know what all the major ending is, and let me find out. Here we go. Okay, fine. But. Let's do this. For anyone listening at home, we are about to open a package from a mysterious person who listens to this show. If you are the one who sent us whatever it is, congrats, mm. you got us. Sorry, the tape is just really, really... There's just so much tape on the package. Okay, Sorry, find all evidence is the best outcome. Which is, the teens are freed of all charge charges. Ryan stops Laura from shooting Nick the cage. Nick survives the night. Max decides to stay on the island. Max survives the night. Jacob admits to breaking the van to Emma. Ooh, Emma refuses to forgive Jacob. Um, Caitlin, Dylan, and Caleb survive the night. So there is a way for Caleb, Caitlin, we needed to run and not hide. That was the way for Caitlyn to so, live. Remember those oh, numbers? we needed to run that yeah. second time? That You know, when we were, like, hide and we hid in that class, yeah. we needed to run. Oh. Um, White Wolf, Laura, Travis, and Ryan kill Silas. The curse is broken. Um, so, the good ending is the White Wolf ending. Laura kills Silas. Both Tra Travis and Ryan survive. The curse is broken. Mm. Though we do have, we did get the good ending. Relative good ending, despite the bullshit. Three people passing. Yeah, the um, the bad endings are the ha all the Hackets die. The curse remains. Laura's captured by Travis. The curse remains. Should have gone to the motel. Max and Laura are reunited. And the curse remains. Mutually assured, Travis and Laura kill each other. Fuck. The curse remains. Nobody's full. Emma and Jacob secret scene in the Hackett Woods. Emma and, Jack, uh, Emma and Jacob secret scene in the Hackett Woods variations. Caitlin, Dylan, and Caleb survive the lodge. The curse is lifted. Chris survives night. Chris or the curse remains. Mm. So, essentially, we have the best ending, even though we didn't get everybody out. Mm. Um, okay. So, we need... You need Travis and more to agree to work together um the, when it comes to golden pass the main ending is oop, oop, the main ending by the developer it's hard to argue against the white wolf ending as it seems so we did get the best criteria okay as it seems meets the main character points and neatly wraps up the story with no questions remaining to ensure the white wolf ending or k aka the silence ending is achieved you need to unlock the above the law achievement which requires a few major choices to be made during the chapters which, which out some of these critical decisions during chapters above Laura will not gain Travis's trust. He will fa fail to share crucial de details about Silas's backstory. However, should you successfully gain Travis's trust, he will share how Chris was not the first Hackett family member to be bitten. Instead, it will be really relieved, revealed, dear Christ, that it began with Caleb and Kaylee, who both happened to be bitten while trying to feed Silas six years ago. So Travis can lie to you. So, so I don't think, I think we were semi-okay with him, but we didn't get his full trust. 
We did because they told us that Kaylee and, and Caleb freed Silas. But that was later. That's when that happens. Yeah, that's in oh, chapter 10. Okay. So, okay. So in chapter 3, we need Ryan to shoot Bobby when rescuing Nick. In chapter 7, Laura loosens the brick in her cell. Which we did. So. Chapter 7, Laura grabs the syringe and hides it, which we did. Uh, chapter 7, Laura does not take Travis's gun. We did not do that. Um, Laura uh, fakes being sick and drugs Travis. That's how we did it. Um, Laura shoots Constance in the struggle, Welcome unfortunately. The podcast of Ooh. the paranormal. Um, Ryan leaves the knife after being stabbed. Bizarre yet bona fide. Anton. Huh. Um, uh, Ryan refuses to stab Bobby, so Bobby does need to uh, live. Ryan does need to agree to be get bitten. Ryan does need to shoot Chris. And Travis and Laura need to work together. Mm. So, essentially... We Here's, did okay. We did good. So, the main things that happen that you need to, for it to be a good ending is... Laura and Travis have to work together, so Laura needs to syringe Travis in the neck. Okay. You need to get out of the cell, essentially, without getting into a a, 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 a fight with Travis. That's how you need to do it. So you need to gain Travis's trust, however you do it. And I've been saying that, like, since we played as Laura. So even though Max didn't make it out, even though Caitlin didn't make it out, and even though Jacob didn't make it out, we still somehow, we still got the best ending. The best-ish ending? Yeah, so we did somehow manage to do that because, um... In a dark hole. You want I can't Travis and Laura to work together. I if they do, don't, I all hell will break loose. Right. It seems like. Right. Um, so we did then. do it right. We just happened. got some casualties <laughs> killed in the meantime. <laughs> um, <laughs> a, so you can yeah, save everybody. Is it is possible. Um, so where we messed up is starting with, uh, Jacob and Nick, we should have either gotten Jacob out of that cell completely by clicking the right things, which like, unless you're paying attention, you're not going to be able to do. Right. Good fucking luck trying to get him out of that cell knowing nothing. Ugh. Um, if you don't get him out of the cell, essentially he dies. Right. So it's either get him out in that moment or he okay. he dead boy. Mm. Um, with Max, the oh, fuck up was having him swim to shore. Yep. Um, Holy shit. And then the so last the fuck story. up is um, Caitlin. Why didn't you tell so me about obviously in this episode, we should have had Caitlin run and not hide. What? So if you're Sorry following us to play it. this game... Aren't we? So if you're following us at all and you're using us as a walkthrough, bless up. fucking you. <laughs> first of all. And secondly, those were our fuck ups. Uh, but we did okay. get a good ending in the end. Yeah. We did get we did the get the best killing ending. Killing Silas seemed very implies that it was once full. Sad. Yeah. So ki- you want to kill Silas? You also want to kill Chris? If you don't kill either of those two, the curse will remain. So you have to kill both of them. Like, Chris does have to go down, and Silas does have to go down. You can have Silas survive, but I believe Laura and Ryan die. So Silas has to go down. While we pissed off the tarot lady... Um, Tarot Lady was not treating her child with any better of an outcome um, than how he ended up dying, which is sad. Essentially what it sounds like is Tarot Lady, aka Silas's mom, came to the area in whatever time, and then... Um, Kaylee uh, and Caleb felt bear. bad for him, yeah. and as a distraction, let hay bales on fire. No don't do okay, that well, unless you. Well, just I'm just confused that there's no consequence to the clearest footage of something like the killing Silas. Like, there's no consequence. It seems. Well, what would there be? He's the start of the curse. But he's. Uh, but that's it, though. Like, well, I mean, we have to live with maybe the hag hag it's gory. I mean, the innocent care. I mean, how did he get that way? 
Yeah, but he had to get that way somehow. Somehow, but yeah, it's not. I mean, essentially, like it sucks because you kill an innocent, but you don't have a choice but to kill the innocent. Yeah, I don't know. Because he's the start of it all. Because Caleb and Kaylee decided that they wanted to save the boy, which I don't blame them. Right. But, ladies and gentlemen, if this is not a moment in time where I'm going to recommend you call CPS. <laughs> Fucking called CPS. Um, well, I am all for hero situations. If you see a kid trapped in a cage and she's calling him wolf boy maybe call Please. cps yeah i know that i know that the thing is gonna be i should try to get him out of the fucking cage but maybe you'll end up as a werewolf and we don't you have you don't need that yeah no. don't end up as a okay. werewolf so what's this what are we looking at now a photo by um counselors I do think it's fantastic um, because they really are going through all the evidence we got yeah, right now. Yeah, I'm hearing that. I was like, wow, I guess we did uh, We found a lot of data because we're still going at it. Okay, but w if you downloaded photos from my phone, yes, they would all be shopped as well. They were Fun. This is a good time. <laughs> um, so, I guess, Michaela, what are the things you liked about the game? And tell me that well, the thing, I like the fact that there was a it's sense weird. of thrill Weird. back again i feel There's like so that was stress yeah i felt like that was lost in the um you know the the predecessors yeah. after until dawn like the story the writing got a little weird the writing was a little oh weird are you talking itself. about the trilogy yeah of games and like the writing was a little odd here okay. at times but in most it's part it was really well done like i was stressed <laughs> like yeah. during the stressful moments I was stressed yeah and not where only were you stressed but I was also stressed like we were, we were both screaming fuck yeah we were <laughs> um this game really does know how to get your heart fucking going because yeah. you really do even early on make decisions and you're like fuck <laughs> Fuck. And, um, I can and which sucks. You usually I think it's to definitely worth to just a commentary in general with these games happen, is that right? if well, in the right so application, like the whole max picks. death was you absolutely unnecessary and so fucking stupid. Like there's no control some, to that. I, I would need but to see the hack yes, hack in terms of if myself. everything is if you want to go appropriately to placed, no, that you can generally have, have like a really like interesting video. experience going okay. in blind. But you know what? I yes. <laughs> yeah, so this game was fun going in blind with. So I think I mentioned at one point that I saw up to like the bonfire scene, which is absolute jack shit in this game. And just that leads into absolutely nothing. We could have killed Jacob, though. We could have killed Jacob, apparently. Apparently, a Jacob had the most death options. Yeah, is what I'm understanding like here. Um, Jacob could have died from, like, the very fucking get-go of the game. Why? Which he is... He could have drowned. He could have drowned with his rotor arm. So, like, Jacob could have died a lot. Like, I think Jacob has the most death options. Which is funny, because he's kind of the dillweed of the... Yeah. He's kind of a Maybe dickhole. that's the point. <laughs> maybe, maybe that is the point. Um, so, I think the only thing that I am saying as, like, a... It's probably that dude who I have a couple negatives. A one mm. Go ahead. I should say. And not the only thing. I have a couple. So the first off one, and the most obvious fucking one, is the goddamn music. How about this? Tell me this isn't freaky. Because yeah. there's very obviously oh, supposed to be music happening right now. At the end scene, yeah. there's supposed to be music with the goddamn Whatever cops. Really. So yeah, what's disappointing yeah. right now is that... So. Still, oh my god, excuse me. At this point in time, from my understanding, 2K still has not come up with a fucking fix for the, for the music solution, which still makes me stand in the fact that I don't necessarily know if everything was YouTube, YouTube's fault. Um, I do think some of the music that 2K picked was copywritten, and that's chill, fun, and fresh. Um, however, we, like, we have stated multiple times throughout this playthrough, we are a teeny tiny little channel. 
Um, maybe by the time you're watching this, who knows where we'll be when you circle about around this video. Um, but at the time of filming, at the time of recording, and the time of posting, we're a small little, little itty bitty channel. Um, with that knowledge, we also know that like at this point in time, YouTube's policies and the way that things are going, that like any strike, any claim, anything against us can severely damage us. Um, so like being a smaller channel and I've put in a huge complaint to YouTube about it. Yeah. Huge fucking complaint. We got, um, I don't know if anybody else's creators on here, but they did send out like a creator survey. It's like a 10 minute long survey and it probably took me 15 minutes because I complained a lot because they sent that survey out at the height of the Corey Kenshin issue, um, which we've talked about in later episodes. So please reference those episodes. I feel like it's the beginning of this series that we would talk about it. So yeah. please go see those um, where we I talk in deep about the Corey Kenshin problem. Um, they sent us a huge long survey and I spent like 10, 15, 20 minutes filling that sucker out. Complaining about some of the things about um, the things that are taken against smaller creators that shouldn't just should not be. Um, so like the smaller you are, the more detrimental shit is. So the big issue for 2K and my big complaint is the music because in a horror game, that's a big fucking deal. Yeah. Big fucking deal. Um, this is the best thing one. My life. And that's sad. Two. My second second thing no. is, so, so circling back to Jacob to and police, Max's death yeah. specifically. And Caitlyn's, because again, it's a pig hit or miss. Yeah. Because... The thing with the thing with all three of their deaths is it's quite literally just the wrong choice. And you have no idea that that's the wrong choice. So the thing with Jacob is there's no direction on how to figure out the fucking um, cages. There's no way to properly figure that out. Not at all. And if we're wrong and you figured that out or you found a fucking note or something... Correct us in the comments, please. But, like, as how we have done it and how we've played this game, we have been pretty goddamn thorough. We've been super fucking thorough mm -hmm. in this game. Um, Of course, we've missed things because we're not absolutely goddamn perfect, but we've missed a lot, but we've also found majority of the mm -hmm. shit. So my issue with uh, those three deaths is it's a hit or miss chance. Well, it's a 50-50. Like, 50 50. It, it no longer comes down to common sense Choices. or comes down to, right. like, uh, a sense of, like, you know, taking, you know, just breaking down the choices. It's more down to, like, okay, you choose this, he does, you choose not, you choose this, you don't. And there's no, like, qualifying markers that would mm -hmm. indicate whether or not which one's the right choice. Correct. Especially um, with Max. Yeah, that one was just... Max is a real low ball. And it's a real ball hitter mm -hmm. because like literal baseball to your baseball bat to your nutsack, because here's the rub with that is like, and why I'm so disappointed is like your, my argument I think with having him swim across was, well, they can't swim in the water. So he should be safe to get to the lodge, which is a fair thing. Cause what fucking werewolf or thing that's afraid of water is going to hang out down by it. Right. Well, and there's so many the other logic that Caleb's there happening. Why the fuck would the they just time. be hanging out at the dock? Like, it doesn't, just... the logic doesn't track. No. So, specifically with Max's death, it's really, um, it's really shit. Um, with Jacob's, it sucks because there's no way to figure that out. No. Again, unless we miss something, which I don't think we well, did. from what I understand, it was like an additive an additive thing so you had to add this to this to equal this to equal that but there's not right. enough t time necessarily and that's the other thing too that the bothers me is that they hit on very early in the game is there is like oh you have these three lives but that was that was only for people who purchased the DLC, not for common people. So the deluxe edition. So yeah, so they actually talked about and you it's funny you mention it. So I talked about it I think when we opened up the game that yeah. th that's how I knew about the the rewind thing. So I learned about the rewind thing from watching a handful of play through, so like I said, I only ever got up to the bonfire scene mm -hmm. and then I would pass the fuck out in my watching. Because, again, we're big Markiplier fans. We're big uh, Jacksepticeye mm -hmm. fans in this 
at Kits and Bits. We stand those guys. They're amazing people. So that's where I kind of was getting my information from, just so we didn't go in, like, completely blind, and I had some idea of how to play this goddamn mm-hmm. game. Because I wasn't sure when the hell we were going to play this thing. Um... So, here it is. So, the Death Rewind. Yeah. You've unlocked Death Rewind feature. This feature allows you three opportunities. It's funny that this popped up right now. Within a single playthrough, um, you can enable or disable. So, here's the Why would they advertise that when you don't have access to it? It's so fucking infuriating. Yeah. So, if... So, like I was about to say, and that popped up, which was kind of like a nice, um... Kind of a nice little cherry topper there to our come uh, our complaint here yeah um so i it says in the beginning in the tutorials that like you have that option so don't give me that in the fucking tutorial if i can't use it right that's my big issue yeah in the game right now it was that was like why would you even why even fucking mention it if yeah. i can't use it right don't mention it but instead, wait till now, offer it, and then give me a tutorial when I get back into the game. Yeah. Because I'm in a deluxe, or like a new game plus. When I hit my new game plus, if you want to offer that to me as a separate tutorial, or add it as a tutorial as like a new beginning of the game. And I know that's a possibility, because I've seen games do shit like mm-hmm. that before. Um, but, Do it. But show it at the new game. Like, 100%. Why would you advertise Don't that advertise that. Because it was so upsetting. Because they did advertise it. lose Max and then not have any opportunity whatsoever to even try 100%. to backtrack. 100%. And, like, oh, same thing with Nick. Like, we were okay. Not Nick. Jacob. Jacob we were okay yeah. with losing, like, one person because we were like, eh. If we're going to lose one, fuck Jacob. You know what I mean? Like, he kind of goes chunks. Whatever. But to lose Max and also to lose Caitlyn, two amazing characters that quite literally are characters that are like, you do not want to lose at any capacity or any point in this playthrough. Right. They had such significant impact in protecting the other people. Like, why the fuck do they have to get a short stick? You don't want to lose Ryan. Yeah. It's just, it's so dumb. Out of all the characters unfortunately, that deserve the short stick because they're not really providing much. There's two that I can think of at the top of my head. No one's gonna like these answers. Mm. Obviously, it's Jacob, and the second one is Abby. Because, like, Abby really isn't doing a whole hell of a lot. No. The only thing that Abby has is Nick, and she could die with Nick when Nick transforms, right. and then you could never see Abby again, and it'd be fine. Right. So I guess my problem is, is like, don't offer that as a thing for me to expect. And then when somebody dies, I can't even access it. Right. Well, and then like, I keep bouncing back to is like, so Until Dawn is obviously the, the true like, origin. Yes. But even with, um, Panetere, Haley. Haley Panetere? Yeah. So her, her character, character, like, Sam, they, they reinforced Thank you, Sam. You're welcome. They reinforce substantially throughout the game. It's like, if you stay still, they can't see you. So in that right. end climatic scene, if you fuck up, like, well, that's kind of on you because we've been reinforcing like I did. that they don't. I fucked up bad. <laughs> if you haven't watched my playthrough of Until Dawn. You really should. It's do it. Great. Especially <laughs> the ending when I fuck up everything. I did so good, except for the ending. Hi. Any regards. <laughs> Regardless. Hi. Hide. I'm not gonna hide. I'm not gonna fucking hide. I'm gonna go hit the goddamn switch. Everybody on fire. Everybody got set on fire. It's fine. Anyway. (laughs) But, like, they reinforce throughout the game is, like, if you stay still, they won't notice you. So there's obviously, like, a substantial, like, connect between if I fuck up, this Mm -hmm. is what I'm gonna deal with. Yeah. Whereas, they didn't really do that. No. So, my understanding of, um, before we end this episode. I think they did a good job with, what's her, uh, with, um. The girl who killed Silas, Laura. Laura, Laura was. A I great think character. they did a good job with Laura's. Laura character. is your protagonist. Like they here. gave you the the consequences of what you could do, like throughout her character. Like yes, she had the someone, biggest consequences. Like I will say, did that. Laura well. has the biggest consequences if you fuck up mm-hmm. bad, uh, because Laura is the key to getting the good ending. If you don't have Laura, you're fucked. Um, if you don't have Laura and Travis on their uh, like, working together, you're absolutely 10 mm-hmm. out of 10 fucked. But before we end this episode, uh, talking about that breath versus, like, the held still. So, how they introduced the holding of the breath 
like they introduced the hold still portion of Until Dawn, I kind of figured if you're holding your breath and you're able to hold your breath successfully that entire time without getting noticed, um, then you're in the clear. Because up until what happened with Caitlin, that is true. Well, so there was a moment. That is true. There was a moment before, so it was like three-fourths of the segment of holding it down. They cut all audio, and that's usually the signal that you can try to go. But I think in that circumstance, if we were to run, that would have killed... With the werewolf? She was going to die. So if you were at the end with Galen, don't fucking hide. Just keep running. But I think in the instance, if you were able to run off, that would that would um, put Dylan? Dylan? I'm not sure, because Dylan came to you before you run, ran and hide. Right, but I hit. think if you ran off, because there was a brief moment where there was like, so there are signals with the breathing in this game, like if you hear, if the heartbeat stops and everything else is silenced, that can be a go-to, like, you can run now. Right. Like, that is the go. But if you run in the middle of that, Dylan probably dies. Right. But if you run and you don't choose to hide in that room at all, you probably both survive. Right. So, like, the thing with Caitlin is, like, every other time you've held your breath and you've held it that entire time successfully, you've been rewarded. Right. So there was no reason for Michaela and I to not choose hide and not be rewarded by holding right. breath. Right. Because every other time, we have had the option to hold the breath, the breath runs out, we've had the option to run. Right. This is the first time where you aren't able to do that. And right. I do think it's shitty on the game in that fact because you've been rewarded every other fucking time. There comes a point where, like, if you're not rewarded for something... It's like when you're teaching a kid to not do something, right? If you reward them for the bad behavior, they're going to keep doing it. Right. But if you're rewarded for good behavior and then you slap the kid when he does a good behavior, what the fuck is that kid supposed right. to think? And that's kind of the scenario we're in. We did everything the game instructed us to do as far as the breath holding situations, but we do that and now at the end we're slapped in the face right at some point the story just dictates what story needs to story instead yes. of what we've understood or have learned throughout the gaming process right. which is really yeah it's just killed we've us we've been in given terms of protecting max in terms of protecting jacob, jacob and caitlin yeah it's just because which is a, a game it's not a game but it's just infuriating it's as infuriating a player. and that is the one thing that i love about these games and also hate about them <laughs> yeah because for the most part it is a hundred percent a game that you choose yep and then all of a sudden it's not yeah and it's just not because there's no reason that we shouldn't have gotten max out there's no reason we shouldn't have gotten caitlin out i understand jacob we did fuck up Jacob. What's which is fine. I don't it's care fine. about Jacob. Right. But I'm a little Max... salty about the other two guys. <laughs> but Max and Caitlin? Salty, salty about the other Are you two kidding guys. me? I am also salty here because like I'm realizing as we read the like rewind thing, if we go to chapter select and still fuck up, we still can't use the rewind. We have to start an entire new fucking playthrough. Yep. Which is an entire problem in itself. Which is just yeah. Anyway. Yeah. We hope you enjoyed the quarry. Yeah. We finally fucking finished it. <laughs> Thank Christ. Just in spooky time. Yeah. Yay. 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 Anyway, those are our pros. Those are qua- qualms. <laughs> a qualms. A qualms. I'm in my wedding bubble. If you're using our playthrough to get through, just, just know that... It's um, not accurate entirely. We, yeah. It's just, loosely. You know, if you're playing this and you followed us to play your fucking game at home, I'm so sorry about the three deaths that you also endured. <laughs> but so glad we could get you to the good ending, because we did get the good ending. Relative. Relative According ending. to the fucking game shit, we got the good ending. <laughs> despite a who lives and who's died. Literally, despite who lives and who dies, like, everybody can die except for Laura, Ryan, and Travis. Is my understanding from mm. reading that. Like, you could quite literally get as much evidence as possible as long as you get the evidence and the police gets the evidence. Everybody else can fucking die except mm. for those three. Which is stupid. But that's regardless of but this. that's fine. It's fine. It's stupid, but it's fine. <laughs> anyway, my name's Rachel. 
I'm Michaela. And thank you guys so much for watching us here in Kids and Bits Gaming. This is the Quarry. Don't forget to subscribe, to like this video, to share it with all your golly dang friends. Yeah. Follow me on Twitties. Um, we'll see you next time. Goodbye! Bye! 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 Bye. Fucking Max and Caitlin. I know. Fucking... Thank you, Mipha. Thank you, Mipha. Yes, thank you. We appreciate you.